Welcome to Highline BI 348 class video number 26. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, BI 348 Chapter 2 Start or the finished file, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to briefly talk about a box and whisker plot. Now, back in our prerequisite class, Business 210, we created this chart. And it's simply a way of displaying the spread or dispersion or variation in the data in a visual way. Now, this is score data. And a box plot with whiskers, the box part is the inside part. The first line represents quartile 1. The second line is the median, and the third line is quartile 3. Now, sometimes the mean is listed too here, and we can see the mean is below the median, so we know there's a few small values pulling the mean down. And then we have these whiskers that stretch out to the smallest and the biggest value inside our outlier line. Now, outliers require that we calculate first the inner quartile range. If this is quartile 1 and this is quartile 3, the inner quartile range is simply the difference between quartile 3 and quartile 1. And that range represents the inner 50% range of our data. Now we take that distance and we multiply it by 1.5. Now there are other multiples that you can use, for example, 2.2. But the one that our author uses is 1.5. And actually, the one that Excel uses in its box and whisker plot in Excel 2016 is 1.5 also. So the idea to get to these lines, which mark anything past these or outliers, is to take interquartile range times 1.5. And you subtract that from quartile 1, like this. Now, if you get to 0, then you just take 0, right? And for quartile 3, here's quartile 3. You take the interquartile range and you multiply it by 1.5. And that's the distance. Now, prior to Excel 2016, there is no way to, to do this in Excel except for with about a 30-step process. And I do have videos at YouTube of, of how to do that. Now, in this class, BI348, we have Excel Miner in our lab, which you can use to create a box plot. I do not have a camera connected to those computers, so I can't show you how to use Excel Miner. But I am going to show you the amazing new Excel 2016 box and whisk whisker. Now, I just got Excel 2016. Here are some scores for CPA. And I have two different data sets. This one actually lists all the score from uh, CPA test 1. Here's all the scores, CPA test 2, 3, 4, and 5. This data set is a proper data set. There's the header for CPA test 1, 2, 3, or 5. And here are the scores. Watch this. I'm going to click in a single cell, go up to Insert and Charts, and look at this. Not only do we have our box and whisker, but there's a built-in histogram and Pareto chart. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And you've got to be kidding me. That is amazing. Now I'm going to click this because this is chart junk. And there we have it, five box and whisker plots. We can compare the different tests and the different scores and their distribution. For each of them, we can see quartile 1, quartile 3, and the median. The x represents the mean, the whisker for each one of them, and even our outliers. Some of the things we can see here, we can clearly see for test number 5, the inner quartile range, which represents the inner 50% of the values much higher than any of the other data sets. This one looks like it has the biggest spread for that inner quartile range. Some other things we can notice. Notice that the x, which represents the mean, is further down from the median than any of these others. And of course, it has more outliers also. It looks like all of the means are below, except for this one. And sure enough, we can see that there's an outlier pulling this up. We can also see an estimation for the range, right? This one has the smallest range. It looks like test 4 and test 1 have the biggest range. 
lots of things we can see in our box and whisker plot. All right, so that is our last video for Chapter 2. Next week, we'll get busy learning how to clean and transform data to prepare it for our analysis. And in particular, we'll be looking at Power Query. All right, we'll see you next video.